Okay, beauts, so we've talked about loving yourself, putting out good energy. I think we kind of left off there. So the next thing I did to find love as a baldy, I opened myself up to the dating world and I was like, let's just give it a try. And if the person, like the person that's for me will be for me as corny as that sounds, but if there's somebody out there that's like, mm, you're bald, um, then they're not for me and that's okay like uh, not many men will be like oh let me go find a bald girl to date you know that's not the typical aesthetic that people go for or find beautiful or attractive one of the things that I did was I told people from the beginning like hey if it got to like you know I'm talking to you and we met up for a date or something I just let people know like I have alopecia like I'm not gonna wait five months down the line and you keep seeing me in these wigs and then you know you I want you to make an informed decision as to whether or not you want to be with me and continue this relationship or this journey together so like for example my husband right now by our second or third date I had told him like I didn't want to say it the first time we met like hi my name is Sharice I have alopecia I didn't think it was that serious but I did want to make sure very early on before any I love you's before like those strong feelings I wanted to be honest and forthcoming about something that I think that he should know and obviously it worked out in my favor I can do another story time on how how that whole process went about me telling my husband that I have alopecia and that I was maybe gonna be bald one day <laughs> and he's actually encouraged me to shave my head so it's just like you really never know how people are going to take things my thing is to just be upfront and straightforward about it because hey if he did say oh no I, I, I guess it, this won't work for me by all means i wish you the best i'm just not your person and that is okay i'm not going to be everyone's cup of tea it was just such a relief not having this secret just weigh on me or you know such a relief not to just be talking to people and just like the what if what if the what if in the back of my mind and then i was also like just i trusted in my myself anyone that would look past the whole alopecia thing or the baldness they would find an amazing woman that they would be blessed and honored to be with so i be truly believe that in my soul so that's what really helped me and then lastly i trusted god i felt like i put out good energy out there i spoke good things into the universe i made sure to be kind towards people and i just knew all that would just come back that's everything that i did to find love as a baldy and i feel like if i can do it you can too if you haven't found love already make sure you like comment and subscribe for more content like this uh hopefully you all are enjoying the bald girl diaries there's going to be so many more videos like this to come because i really want to share my journey with people that may be going through this or if you're not going through this but you can still find something like motivational or inspirational if you're facing any type of challenge in your life it doesn't have to be hair loss related but yeah hopefully this helps if you have any questions or comments make sure you leave them down below because i will be happy to answer and help anyone that may be going through this or a similar situation bye